what is Last Stand? And if you're a PvE player like myself, then why should you try it? Find out in this video. Hey guys, Rolia or Taylor here, and I'm back with a brand new Division video. And today, I'm going to explain to you exactly what Last Stand is, and why you should give it a try if you're not a fan of PvP. So first up, I'm just going to cover Last Stand and explain to you exactly what it is. Last Stand is the last expansion within year one content of the Division. It's a PvP, so player v player, and PvE, player vs environment, game mode. It takes part in the new DZ areas, that is 7 all the way to 9 that sort of branch off to the right of Central Park, as well as the DZ areas we already have 1 to 6. These are split up into smaller sections, so for example you could get areas 1 to 3, 7 to 9, or something like 4 to 6. And in Last Stand, it features a conquest type game mode. The only difference here from a traditional conquest game is that to capture one point, you actually have to capture three sub points to then take control. So for example, if you're trying to cap A, you'll need to cap three smaller locations within A to then class it as your own. Same with B and C. When you have managed to cap A, B or C, or even all three, you can fortify these places with a pulse or even a turret. These can be activated once you've gained enough SHD tech, which is currency you gain for doing certain things within Last Stand. As well as fortifications, during the match of Last Stand, you can also activate tactical boosts. These again come online at various points of the game. You activate them via SHD tech again, and these boosts can range from a faster data upload, which just means capping a point faster, or more points for killing enemies as well as hunting down the other team of 8 players. There's also a lot of PvE to this game that not many people pick up on. So within Last Stand, there's still going to be landmarks for you to neutralise, as well as random mobs for you to take down and gain SHD tech without even laying a bullet on another player. And this brings me on to why PvE players should give this quote unquote PvP game mode a try. Now you can trust me, for about 9 months of the division, I was a PvE only solo player. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, when I first heard about Last Stand and it bringing a dedicated PvP game mode, I did think it was a little bit silly considering I had paid for a season pass and I was being given an expansion that only sort of catered to PvP players. That was my first thought anyway, and I couldn't have been more wrong. So this game mode gives you a reason to PvP. One thing that I don't like about the Dark Zone is that it's a very much risk and reward game mode. By that I mean, to be rewarded, it can be a lot of hassle. You've got to get your loot first, take it to an extraction point where you can almost guarantee there'll be a group of rogues waiting to gank you and like I said, make your day miserable. Whereas Last Stand is really something special. Now like I've said over and over again, I was a PvE player for a long time, and going into Last Stand, I just went in with an open mind and wanted to give it a try. One thing that I think is going to sell you on giving Last Stand a try is most definitely that you're not going to lose anything when coming out of this game mode. Once it is completed, you're pretty much guaranteed a Last Stand cache, which can include 4 drops, as well as the possibility of an exotic drop. That doesn't even matter if you win or lose the match. Along with all the great rewards, you also need to think about normalisation. Obviously, in the Dark Zone, it can be completely unbalanced depending on how you're playing and who you're coming up against. Whereas in Last Stand, it's all normalised. And in layman terms, that kind of means balanced. Now this is going to limit the impact of gear set and stat randomness, and most of the stats are actually going to be pushed up to max rolls on most, if not all, of your gear, so you're always going to get the absolute best out of the gear you're running with, which I think is a really good idea. It also still gives you the chance to run different gear sets and gain the bonuses from them, but the fact now that it's all going to be pushed up to a maximum, including your gear score, is something really interesting. Now, normalization is a lot more in-depth in that but like I always say I want to keep these videos short and to the point and if you want to know more about normalization that's coming to the division in last stand then let me know in the comments and I'm more than happy to make a separate video for it and now my last reason that is trying to persuade you to go into last stand with an open mind is that there's still pve for us to try 
Like I did touch on, there is still landmarks. These landmarks are a lot more interesting now, especially in the new areas, they now come in waves of enemies. So some landmarks that I've cleared, you get one wave, you clear that one, you get another wave, you clear that, and then you get a last wave that contains the named boss. These can actually be on multiple levels depending where they are. So if you're in a big building, you can expect to start off in maybe the basement, go up a few floors to your next wave, and then up a few floors again. Like I've already said, you don't even need to focus on PvPing in this game mode. Obviously it's going to help your team, but some games I've played I've focused on PvE and definitely ended out nearer the top of the leaderboard than some players that have just gone straight in gunning for other players. But PvE in this game mode is a lot more important than just that. You're helping your team essentially that are focusing on holding the other team back. Whilst you might be off and away from other players, you're still collecting SHD tech that is going to help reward your team in the long run by activating tactical boosts and other fortifications, whereas the enemy team might not even have a player that's focusing on that at all. So, don't worry guys, we're still getting a lot of PvE within Last Stand. Anyway guys, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. I wanted to make it just for you guys that might be looking down on it a little bit and be a bit disheartened that you're not getting any more PvE content, where in fact, you're getting a lot within Last Stand. Just go into it with an open mind, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. But as always guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, then subscribe for all future Division content. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.